Hello and welcome back. My name is Adrian Cherry and this is part six of an introduction to QCAD. This is the stage we've got up to in previous sessions. So in this one, I'm going to cover how we can add some of the detailing. So we've got a basic square shape for the tender frame, but some of the shapes around the front and the back have got a bit more detail to be added. So we'll zoom in on the front section here. I'll turn off the circles there and go to the outline because we're still working on the outline. So it's this that I'm looking at. And I'm just going to show how we can build up the extra detail from just simple straight lines, curves, a few circles to get the detail that we want. First, trim up the shape. Now, again, working off the works drawing, we need to get back to the line. So build up a few construction lines. So I'll choose parallel. The first bit set back from there. I know off the works drawing it's two inches. So bear with me and you'll see how this builds up. So I'll put a two inch line parallel there. This one down again is two and a half inches. So again, because I'm working in real world units, two and a half inches puts me a parallel line there. Um, next bit is two foot from there. So two foot two inches is twenty-four. So it goes on to that line there. And then finally the from the top line here I want one line one foot two and a quarter. So one foot four, fourteen foot two five, fourteen foot two five. Hopefully we'll see how it comes together in a minute because now I've done a few construction lines, I'll just start doing trimming. And we'll see. So select the trim function. So again the instructions on the bottom tell you choose limiting entity. I'll pick that one that one and then that one and that one and that one and that one there and there and finally that one and that one you see I've already quickly built up the extra bumps and shape around the front now on the drawing these are curved so I need to radius off, so the radius out tool here. Now it's not perfectly, it doesn't fit perfectly to a tangent on the drawing, it is actually feathered out. So so if I do radius two inch, because I know this is a two inch step here. If I did a two inch step on there, so again it says pick first entity and then the second entity you can see it. It fits a perfect quadrant. When I hover the cursor over, it fits a perfect quadrant. But I know it's not quite like that, so I'll bump up the radius to uh, four. See what that looks like. So that's my first entity, second entity. Now you can see it actually moves it out, but it's not quite that big off the works drawing. Yeah, that looks better. If I make that at three inches, if I zoom in now, you can see it's gone past. So it's created that little step. So I'll go back to trim and I'll pick limiting entity there and that one there. And you can see it's trimmed that bit out, but it's still left me that little step. So I'll select that and delete. Now, this bottom one round here was a perfect quadrant. Um, that was two and a half inch step down. So, go back to my radius tool. And the radius is 2.5. And if I select that as the first entity and that as the second, it should give me a trim there. So, I know I've got a shape. Now, the last couple of bits on here is there's a circle small circle at the bottom for the uh, 
the brake rodding and there's another slight cut out now the works drawing the the circle for the brake rod is at the same level as this, and no, that was four and a quarter. So if I pick parallel line again, oh, I want the radius down to down to four and a quarter. So that's my level, and I know it's one foot five from this line here. So one foot five is seventeen inches. Again, this is why I like working in real-world units, because I can just add up to 18 inches without having to think about converting it to 7mm scale, because I'll do that all in one shot later. Um, if I trim the lines, if I put that to that, that gives me a centre point for this brake rodding. Right. So... And the ray, uh, well, the diameter is two inches. So if I go QQ back to the top, I want a circle. And out in the options, I've got a circle and radius. So it's not five inches, it's two inches. I'll type in two there. Uh, not two, two the diameter, one inch radius. That's better. And Hover it over so you can see the snap point now says intersection, so it's the intersection between this line and this line. Again, just a reminder, it tells you that's the middle point, that's the end point. We know when we're in the intersection because it actually tells you. So I can do that. So that's my brake rodding. The final bit is another little oval cut out there. Um, now that a bit more complicated because I've got no centre reference just yet but the edge of it is one foot seven from there so if I start building up the lines draw a parallel line to there one foot seven so 19 inches from there that gives me one reference line uh, the other reference line is it's actually on the works drawing it's from tangential to this cut out here at 2.1 now rather than draw it out there i can actually because i know this is a five inch radius so make that two foot six so three foot from there so um, how to get so what i'm after is a line three foot from there to there um, and if I draw vertical point on uh, center on that so if I select that you can see when I select the curve it gives me my center point for that um, length of eight if I do that so I've got a vertical line based on the center of that curve now I want to put another parallel line there, three foot away. So again, no, I can either move it or just draw another line parallel. I'm going to be deleting lines in a bit anyway. So a distance 30. Make that line there. So I've got that. So I've got my two. Bit, my two end points for the curve and I know the lines from the works drawing the bottom of it is four and a half inches from here and the radius is five so that makes that so the center line is going to be nine yeah nine and a half inches up from this line so again parallel line nine point five that from this line gives me that. If I then trim that and that, so that gives me my two end points. So I need to draw a couple of circles again, then 
put some to my radius. I've got two points for radius. This is what I need because I've, I've got the end point and I know the radius. So what I can do is put a radius of five. First point on that intersection. So you can see it's drawing me a circle and I can snap it'll snap to any of these points you see. So if I can snap to that end point there, it gives me an outline and then again start at that intersection and draw again it's it will go to any end point but I've put it on this one. Right, we're nearly there. Get rid of some of these construction lines. We don't need any of these anymore. And I'll delete. So I'm left with the two circles. So I want a straight line between them. So straight line tangent between two circles. Select the first circle, select the second one that draws the line. Again, first circle, second circle draws the line. And need to get rid of the bits in the middle. So remove segments. So bit in the middle, remove that bit. Not quite still left these in. So click on that, click on that. And there we go. So as you can see we can just build up the detailing slowly by a few lines and a few circles, intersections, and we're there. So I'll start, yeah. Before we go on to the uh, half-edge bits, I think that'll be the next session. We'll leave it there while I'm 